Did you know this Islamic culture was created by the oh. Muslim brother? A racist clash caught on camera gone viral. It's true. It's not hate. It's the truth. When a man hurls Islamophobic insults at NDP MPP Gurutan Singh. He just really just said a variety of Islamophobic and uh, racist remarks. It all started at Muslim Fest in Mississauga. Singh on stage addressing the crowd, the man heckling him. Seen here from his own cell phone footage, Singh got off stage. The man confronts the Brampton East MPP head on. He saw me, went right through security, beelined it right to me and just started spewing a lot of Islamophobic and racist remarks. Asking him if he supports Sharia law and political Islam, Singh responds with, that is racism, but does not point out that he's Sikh, not Muslim. When those who come with hate, they want to divide us, they want to split us apart, and we, we must never allow them to do that. And that's why in those moments, I never say I'm not a Muslim, instead I say hate is wrong and I stand in solidarity with my Muslim brothers and sisters. The man in the video is Stephen Garvey, the leader of the anti-immigration federal political party called the National Citizens Alliance. The now viral video of the confrontation posted on the party's Facebook site with a different perspective, saying Garvey calls out Jagmeet Singh's brother for political correctness and pandering to ethnic minorities. Leader of the federal NDP Jagmeet Singh had this to say, my heart is with all of the people who were at Muslim Fest and were subjected to that person's racist and hate hateful comments yesterday, I'm proud of my brother. Hateful and racist comments also found in Etobicoke over the weekend. Anti-Muslim sentiment scrawled across this park sign. Toronto police are investigating, the mayor calling the vandalism abhorrent. What I really found inspiring was all the young people around me. But a glimmer of hope for a brighter future. I actually want to give just kind of a shout out to all those young folks who were able to respond in such a positive manner in the face of so much anger and hatred and racism and Islamophobia. Camille Karamali, Global News.